In this video, we'll be trying to solve first order differential equation using the direct integration method. Okay, so from here, you can see that we have two questions A and B. I'll be taking these two questions to explain a step by step approach to solving first order differential equation using the direct integration method. Let's start with the first question there. Um, solution to this. All right, so let's say we are asked to solve the following differential equations. You have the A part and the B parts there, all right? Now, the a, let's start with the A parts there. So A, you're given the differential equation minus 2x. So I have minus 2x plus. Next up, you have exponential x plus 3. So exponential x plus 3. It's equal to, uh, this is equal to 4x squared. 4x squared minus dy dx, right? So minus dy dx. So I have this. All right. So basically, here's my question. Now, how do I solve this question? Okay. So how do you solve this question? Now, your first task is that you want to ensure that dy dx is standing alone on one side of the equation. Okay. Now, looking at this question here, this is the first part of the equation. Let's call it the left-hand side of the equation. And of course, this is the second part of the equation. Let's call this the right-hand side of the equation. Now, your first task is that you want dy dx to stand alone on either the left-hand side or the right-hand side of the equation. Now, note that in some questions, you have dy dx standing alone, um, just like you have in this B part. Observe that dy dx is standing alone in this B part here. All right. But in the A part, which is what we are solving now, observe that minus 4x squared this one here is attached to dy dx so we want dy dx to stand alone so what do we do now the tax is simple observe that dy dx here is bearing a negative sign so all i have to do is i'll move dy dx over this way here to the left hand side and move every other thing here over to the right hand side that's your first tax all right so first things first let's move dy by dx to the left hand side this is negative of course negative dy dx it comes this way here, it becomes positive. So I'll now have a positive dy dx. So I have dy dx being positive, all right? It's equal to, I'll move all other things there over to the right-hand side. Now, if I move them, first things first, I have this one here, which is 4x squared. So this becomes 4x squared. Now, minus 2x comes over here, becomes positive 2x. So I have plus 2x plus exponential x comes over here becomes negative exponential x so i have minus exponential x then positive 3 moves over here becomes negative 3 all right so i'm not having this as negative 3 all right so here's your first task okay so you can see that dy dx is now standing alone and of course it's positive on one side of the equation that's your first task now the next thing you want to do is that you want to move the x over to the other part there all right you want to move the, the x over to the other part so you can say multiply both sides by the x or simply just move the x over here all right it is mathematically correct if i move the x over there i'll be having that dy it's equal to what you now have here is 4x squared plus 2x minus exponential x minus 3 all right the x comes here becomes the x this is mathematically correct so you can say multiply both sides by the x or simply move the x over to the right hand side and you have this as your answer now at this point when you're now at this point here the next thing you want to do is to integrate both sides all right integrate or integrating both sides uh both sides what do we have what we have is that the integral so the integral of dy it's equal to the integral for the right hand side i have 4x squared plus 2x minus exponential x minus 3 then you have dx so i have this all right so you have this here next up um the integral side will cancel d so you have that y it's equal to the integral of 4x squared plus 2x minus exponential x minus 3 
the x so this now becomes an integration case okay now i've explained this concept about integral sign cancelling out d sign all right in a previous class when we talked about integration i'll leave a link to a previous video on integration in the video description all right now let's proceed with this so how do we integrate this question here what do we do again we've already talked about the concept of integration in our previous class i'll leave a link to that video or that class on integration in the video description so check video description for a class on integration all right okay so let's now solve this so how do you solve this question what do you do now from our previous class on integration we said the first thing you have to do here is to take y as being equal to now you take the integral sign for each of the terms okay that's what you do all right so it becomes the integral of 4x squared attach the x there all right um that's the x okay the sign there is plus so plus take the integral sign for the second term there so integral sign of 2x dx the next term there is minus exponential so it becomes minus integral sign of exponential x dx so literally i'm taking integral sign for each of them and then finally i'll, I'll attach the x so it becomes minus the next time there's minus right minus integral of 3 dx so observe what i just did okay take integral sign for each of them of course the signs come come out here plus plus minus here becomes minus because minus becomes minus then integral sign to each of the term then at the end attach a dx that's what we have here all right so let's work with this this is y being equal to now we said that whenever you have a number or a constant we take the constant outside the integral term or the integral sign the constant or the number here is 4 we'll take it outside integral sign so it becomes 4 integral of x squared dx all right take the numbers outside the integral sign so plus the number here is 2 in this case take it outside the integral sign becomes 2 integral of x dx minus there is no number here so i'll just repeat this as integral of exponential x dx then minus the number here is 3 take it outside the integral sign so 3 integral of dx so simply take the numbers outside the integral sign so we have this so what's my next tax here my next task here will now be to integrate. So here we have that y is equal to 4 into, to integrate a case like this, we said the concept is simple. This is x squared. We'll add 1 to this. So 2 plus 1 all over, div, divide by the same thing you have as your power, which is 2 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 plus, next up we have 2 into, again, what I have here is x. For x, then the power is just 1, all right? So x and x to power 1 are the same thing. Then we repeat the process. We said add 1 to that power, then divide by whatever thing you have here, which is 1 plus 1. So I'll divide by 1 plus 1, um, 1 plus 1. Next up, we now have a minus. If you integrate exponential x, you have exponential x. Again, I've treated this in a previous class on integration. All right, but note that the integral of exponential x is exponential x as already treated in a previous class. Again, I'll leave the link to that video or a playlist on integration in the video description. So check the description. You see a link to a playlist on integration. Then you can scroll down to the video on the integration of exponential functions. All right. Now proceeding, this becomes minus 3 into, if I integrate the x here, the integral cancel d. I'm left with x, so it becomes x, of course, plus c, your constant of integration, all right? So whenever you integrate, of course, you have a plus c there, the constant of integration. But note that if you integrate the x, you have x, all right? Just like when we integrated dy, look at this. When we integrated dy, we had this as what there, y as an answer. So the same concept works there. Now, I'm proceeding with this, this becomes y. So I have the y, it's equal to 4 into if you work with this, this becomes x to power 2 plus 1 here gives you 3 all over 2 plus 1 gives you 3 so you have this this plus 2 into we have x 1 plus 1 here gives you 2 all over 1 plus 1 here gives you 2 so we have this minus next we have your exponential x so i have minus exponential x then minus 3x so i have minus 3x 
plus c so we have this All right so we are here working with this we have that y it's equal to 4 times x cubed gives you 4x cubed of course all over denominator there 3 plus from here 2 can cancel 2 i have x squared minus next up you have this one here so minus exponential x plus or oh, sorry minus so minus 3x plus c so here is my answer basically but let's arrange this in a better way this will be equal to y it's equal to let's take the fraction here first all right if you do that you have this as 4 all over 3 into x cubed plus x squared minus exponential x minus 3x plus c so this becomes the answer to this question so this is how we integrate this particular question all right so that's your answer let's look at the b part of this question all right so let's look at the b part of this question here so for the b part that we have solution let's look at the solution to the b part of this question so solution here um first things first let's um write out the question to the b part you have dy dx so dy dx it's equal to cosine 2x now observe that in contrast to the first one here observe that dy dx is already standing alone on one side of the equation which is this so we don't have to bother moving it now what do we do here the next thing we have to do here is to move the x over to this part here and in doing that we'll have that dy is equal to cosine 2x and then dx so we have this all right so we have this one here now how do we solve this of course we'll have to integrate both sides so integrating both sides integrating integrating both sides what do we have there we'll have that the integral of dy it's equal to the integral of cosine 2x dx we have this All right so let's integrate this from here of course integral cancel d i'm having y being equal to integral of cosine 2x dx so we have this all right so how do we solve this question again if you observe this you you see that your ability to solve differential equation is largely dependent on how well you can integrate terms so you have you need a strong mastery of integration as well as differentiation to be able to solve differential equations okay now for this question how do you solve this of course we've done something like this in our previous class on integration and i said i'll leave a link to our playlist on integration in the video description now to solve this what you do is simple you say let you all right be equal to the term in the brackets here yeah, which is 2x that's your first task now next up you say you differentiate this if i differentiate this I'm differentiating u with respect to x now mind you we are doing integration but would would need some um, basic steps of differentiation if i differentiate u with respect to x i will have that du dx is equal to if i differentiate 2x obviously i will have my answer as 2 all right so i'll have that this is 2 now if i work with this let's work with, let's make the x subject of the formula and how do we do that to make the x subject to the formula simply swap these two so two comes down here the x takes its position so you have that du all over two it's equal to the x just swap the position okay and this is mathematically correct you can say cross multiply and divide you still have the same answer right but the simplest method or the simplest approach would be the, the swap position and you have two coming down down to denominator and the x coming this way here so you have the x as being the u over 2 at that point here what we use what we, what we use is called substitution we we'll say substituting substituting we'll have that if i substitute this i'll have that y is equal to the integral of cos now look at this we said cos 2x but we said 2x is equal to what there u so in place of this 2x i'll just put u so y is equal to the integral of cos u dot 
um next up we now have the x all right now we cannot okay let's okay let me put this as dx for the meantime let's have this as dx now we cannot integrate this because if you look at this we are integrating with respect to the x all right the integral variable is x so we cannot integrate a u with respect to the x that's the thing there so what do we do we'd have to replace the x with something so the question now is the, the question now is can i express the x in terms of the u that's the question and yes if you look at this so you now see why we have to make the x to be subject of the formula earlier we can see that the x is equal to d over 2 all right so i'll replace the x here this so dot instead of the x here i'll express the x in terms of du that becomes d over 2 so you now see why we have to do this again we've already touched this whole concept in our previous class link in video description all right at this point now we can now integrate because we are integrating u or equals u with respect to u so we can now proceed but before that let's rewrite this this becomes y is equal to integral of cos u dot this can be written as 1 all over 2 times du all right so du over 2 is same thing as 1 over 2 times du now i'm doing this because i want to move the constant which in this case is 1 over 2 outside integral sign and if i do that that would be that would give me that y is equal to take this outside the integral sign that becomes 1 all over 2 integral of i'll be left with cos u du so cos u du all right this is better now let's integrate cos u if i integrate cos u what do i get again we've treated the integral of trigonometric function in our previous class where we said the integral of cos x is equal to sine x plus c i'll leave a link again to this in the video description so please check the playlist on integration go through it you'll see a class on the integration of trigonometric function all right so but if i integrate cos x i will have sine x plus c all right so in the same uh, concept we have that y is equal to 1 over 2 if i integrate cos x i'll have sine x plus c if i integrate cos u i'll have sine u then plus c all right the same thing there all right so from here we can see that y is equal to 1 over 2 sine u plus c but we can't leave y in terms of u let's go and replace our x all right but u in terms of x was equal to what let's check this let's see but u was equal to 2x so we have to replace that but u is equal to 2x all right so replace that value there you have that y it's equal to 1 over 2 sine in place of u i'll put 2x that's u then plus c so i have this so basically this becomes the answer to that question so this is how you solve that question all right so yeah this is the answer to the question all right all right guys so don't forget that you can check out my available courses on my website simply visit www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses or you can look at the available books at www.jonahimano.com forward slash books all right do well to register an account to the website and then proceed to get any of the available courses or books you can also join my channel membership to get access to exclusive classes for just channel members all right i'll leave a link to my website as well as to join my channel membership in the video description also i'll leave a link to our whatsapp channel all right so join and then you get updates on our whatsapp channel all right all right guys so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button like this video all right leave a comment tell us if you enjoyed the video leave it in the comment section don't forget to also subscribe if it's your first time here or you're yet to subscribe please do what to subscribe hit the bell icon and select all so that you get notified whenever we upload new content then finally share this video to your friends so that they, so that they can also learn all right guys thank you and see you in our next class